<laughs> we made it. We're inside Machu Picchu. <laughs> That's Ron Ronaldo. He's our guide. So here we go. Big day today. We are moving up the mountain to the top. We'll be stay checking into a new hotel and then visiting the Machu Picchu today. Amy's not feeling well. She's putting her best face on though. All right, first stop though, we had to go to the jetted bus line. Actually, doesn't look that bad. All right, see you. <laughs> We're gonna cram in here. We have all of our luggage. This bus is not built for people with a bunch of luggage. Oh well. What are you gonna do? This is the struggles of staying in the building though. I think everybody... I mean everybody that goes there has to. Right, yeah, that's true. There's no other way up. I think it's gonna be worth it. Just as a side note, we were wrong about that. If you stay at the Belmont and go there directly, the staff will meet you and take your luggage for you so you don't have to haul it on the bus. Staying at the Belmont, although somewhat expensive and indulgent, we decided that the perks were worth it. We get to wake up in Machu Picchu. Not only is this the sole hotel located at the entrance, it is pure splendor. You get amazing views all around the property that you would otherwise miss. Not to mention relaxing at the beautiful property after spending the day exploring and learning about the ancient mysteries is a real treat. Okay, we just got to the Belmon Sanctuary Lodge. They gave us coffee. Everything's so nice. They are so helpful. They're offering to print out all of our like train and plane and bus tickets, and they're just really, really sweet. I do love to be taken care of by nice hotels. <laughs> Following our check-in, they showed us to our lovely room so we can drop our bags off. And after settling in, we decided to have lunch downstairs at Tampu Restaurant. After lunch, we decided to make our way over to the main event. If you show up midday, this is what the lines look like. It's pretty crowded. The Belmont set us up with Ronaldo, who's an expert in all things Machu Picchu. He knows about each and every nook and cranny of this incredible place. He told us all about the architecture and the engineering that is still a marvel today. So we've made it to the top of Machu Picchu and we're overlooking Juana Picchu. And for as many people that are here, it's actually really peaceful and quiet. It's really nice to be here. Um, mind blowing. You really have to experience it for yourself. This is really cool. It's huge. I mean, obviously, you probably knew it was, but there's a lot of a lot of people here. But honestly, it doesn't feel too crowded. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of people behind me just because we're at a popular spot. But yeah, it's not bad. When we were inside the homes of Machu Picchu, we saw the Vishakas hiding in the corners. They're in the Chinchilla family, but they're much bigger. They are totally blissed out. the best stone of Machu Picchu. It stops earthquakes because of how it's cut. It's also completely level. It's so cool. 
So contrary to what this genius on cold medicine just told you, that stone, in fact, does not stop earthquakes. It only stops the damage that could have been caused to the structure by the earthquake. The stones were all cut precisely and arranged without the use of mortar. And when earthquakes do strike, as they often do here, the stones all jingle. These homes have stood the test of time, and this entire ancient city is an engineering marvel. Ronaldo introduced us to this little herd of llamas. And don't worry, they're cared for by the staff of Machu Picchu and they make sure that they are healthy and not too freaked out by the tourists. sun begins to set, we wind our way through a maze of buildings, and it's hard not to imagine what life was like all those years ago. Back in the calm oasis that is the Belmont, we've been gifted a bottle of champagne to take in the sunset on our back terrace. Listening to the sounds of the water fountains and the birds, we are far removed from the hustle of tourists. All of the meals we enjoyed during our stay were incredible. The inventive menus featured Indian ingredients and unveiled the variety and bounty from the surrounding land. So, so right, so right, so right. Wait for the doors to open. This is about to be like a mad rush. I mean, like behind us. There was nobody here like 10 minutes ago. The buses started running, dumping them off. Yeah, it's gonna be like, stampede! Okay, so it's our last day at Machu Picchu. But what we did today, we have a little bit of time, so we bought a 6 a.m. ticket to come in right when it opened. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a little, little sunrise up over Machu Picchu. So. watching our videos we'd love it if you hit the subscribe button also if you click on that bell you'll get a notification as soon as we have a new video posted and we've got a lot more coming your way Ooh.